Teewinkle Bedtime Stories is based on the real adventures of the Teewinkle farm animals who live with Farmer Willems and his wife on Shamba. Enjoy this celebration of nature and the animal kingdom. Once upon a time in Teewinkle, Farmer Willems was excited. Today might just be the day. The conditions were perfect. It was warm and sunny and the air was still. His white beekeeping suit with a hat and net for the face was ready in the jeep and his phone was with him in case anyone called to report a swarm of bees. Come, he called Jengis and Carly, the savannah-coloured dogs. Let's go and check the far end of the field for a swarm. Just as they were about to enter the field, Farmer Willem's phone rang. The dogs cocked their heads at the excitable voice on the other end. Roma's Hove, you say, Mr Marlow? asked Farmer Willems. Keep away from the swarm and I'll be there in ten minutes, he reassured the caller before hopping into his old jeep and speeding away. When he arrived, he could hear the impressive hum and the enthusiastic couple led him to a wild plot that hugged their beautiful garden. There, a pool of bees was crawling on the ground around a teepee of more bees that were clinging to a tall plant. The queen bee must be there, thought Farmer Willems, who approached slowly, careful not to scare the busy insects. He had a plan. He'd uproot the plant and place it in the cardboard box he had with him, and the other bees would follow, eager to be with their queen. Farmer Willems crouched down and with one swift move placed the bee-covered plant in the box. Suddenly, the insects stood still and began vibrating their tiny wings. Look, whispered Farmer Willems, they're telling their friends to follow. Sure enough, the others began to trail into the box. There was a big black cloud of them, exclaimed Mr Marlowe. I'll never forget that loud humming sound. It was like the end of the world. Would they have attacked us? Farmer Willems shook his head. No, there's nothing to be worried about if you leave them alone. A family of bees only has one queen, and if another queen is born, one of them has to leave with some followers. This queen was looking for another home. Oh, I see, Mr Marlowe nodded slowly. So they're really just minding their own business and should be left in peace. Exactly, nodded Farmer Willems. We beekeepers come and collect the swarm so the bees have a happy and safe home in a quiet place. An hour later, the bees had all joined their queen. Right, they're all in the box. Time to take them to their new home, smiled Farmer Willems. I'll bring you a pot of their honey at the end of the summer. Cheerio, he waved. When Farmer Willems arrived back at Shamba, Mrs Lavender and Gustav the naughty cocker spaniel were passing. When Farmer Willems lifted the heavy cardboard box out of the jeep, a few frenzied bees escaped and Mrs Lavender began to scream. Get them away from me! Killer wasps! Ah! Mrs. Lavender, Farmer Willem said calmly, these are friendly bees. Stay calm and stop waving your arms around like that. They will do no harm if you leave them alone. Mrs. Lavender, breathe. It's all right. <sighs> if you say so, she gasped. Come on, Gustav. Off we go! Farmer Willems carried the buzzing box to an empty wooden beehive that he had prepared along the side of the field. He lifted off its small roof, turned the cardboard box upside down on top of it and gave it a firm pat. The bee swarm slid into their new home and did reconnaissance flights to check out their new surroundings. 
Later, as the sun began to set, the busy bees calmed down and settled for the night. They were going to like it here on Shamba, thought Farmer Willems, gazing at the sea of flowers, shrubs and blossoming trees around him. And they do appreciate it when we humans mind our own beeswax. Ha! <laughs> I mean business, he chuckled to himself. <sighs> what a day! It's bedtime now for the Tewinkle animals on Shamba. Sleep tight, sweet dreams, and see you soon. <laughs>